Hey guys! Welcome back to another episode of Art Journal Thursday where we hang out together and get creative every single Thursday here on this channel. Since a lot of you guys seem to enjoy doodling and a lot of you guys mentioned I should do something cat related, I thought we can combine both and doodle cats today. Let me know in the comments below if you're rather a cat or a dog person or if you have any other favorite animals. I personally love cats, but at the moment I don't have a cat, I just visit my parents' cats from time to time. But I think I wouldn't be able to have a cat right now anyway, because whenever I have to look after my parents' cats, I can't be productive. I start feeling so lazy and sleepy and I just don't feel like doing anything but sleeping. But how can you not feel this way if a cute cat lays on your lap and sleeps, right? Did you know cats sleep about 70% of their lives? But I also read that owning a cat can reduce the risk of a stroke and heart attack by a third. So it's kind of like a cat is your doom because you feel lazy and sleepy, but also your remedy against other things. And because some of you were interested to see the process from sketching out to the final artwork, I will show you these steps as well. I always need a sketch, some outlines or guidelines before I start drawing or painting. I usually start with sketching out what I want to create and I use my sketchbook for that where I just test out some designs and compositions. It's just really helpful to have that before you start drawing or painting something because if you just sit down and want to create something right away and you try to make it as pretty as possible immediately but fail, you might end up feeling discouraged because to you it looks like you can't do anything and that today is not your day and then you give up. You just feel pressured to create a final piece of artwork right away. But if you take a piece of paper, it can be just print paper or something like that, and sketch or doodle some ideas, you won't feel pressured to create something amazing right away. Because when you sketch out your ideas, they can look really messy that no one would ever recognize what you actually plan on drawing, but that's okay, it's only for you, you don't have to show your sketches to anyone. It's just for you so you can start somewhere. You only need to kind of start the process of coming up with your ideas and then you can move on to outlining it more properly and maybe change or adjust something. So when you actually use your proper paper for drawing or your canvas for painting, you know exactly what you're going to create. You can even lightly transfer your sketch onto your canvas or paper so you already have your guidelines and you're ready to go. But remember that it doesn't mean your painting or drawing have to absolutely end up looking this way. Because your sketches are only there so you have some sort of guidance, but you can still change things up, even when you are actually working on your final artwork. It doesn't mean that you failed because it looks different at the end, it only means that you came up with something that is even better because you took the time to work on your ideas to refine them. And usually you like your newer version even better in the end. And for my doodles I did the same, I just tried to come up with different poses for the cats and how I want them to look like in my sketchbook and then I picked a few of my favorites that I used for this doodle. As you can see the design is not completely consistent but that's okay. It's all about the process and practicing, I can still go back and work on the sketches to improve them. But I really enjoyed coming up with the doodles and actually doodling them. Maybe I can even come up with some fun and cute designs for stickers or pins that you guys could buy. Let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in something like that. A lot of you guys keep mentioning I should create some merchandise but I never know what I could do because I want to create something that is useful for you guys where I put a lot of effort and thought into it. So if you guys have any suggestions or ideas please let me know. There are a lot of things people tend to create, like t-shirts or bags, but maybe you feel like there is something missing. Maybe you wish there will be something more of. So yeah, please let me know. If you're interested in my art supplies that I'm using here in this video, I have everything linked in the description box below so you can check it out. And this is the final result. 
I'm really happy how it turned out. I think the cats turned out really cute. What do you guys think? I really hope you enjoyed doodling with me today. Give this video a thumbs up if you did to support this channel, it will mean a lot to me. Let me know in the comments what else you would like to see for this series. And in case you have missed my latest episodes of Art Journal Thursday or if you're new to this series, you can check out the playlist right here. And turn your notifications on by clicking on the bell next to my name so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and then we'll see you on Saturday or on Thursday for another Art Journal Thursday episode. Bye!